The latest eruption of the Mount Etna, the largest uh, volcano in the Europe, has changed it again. We have a new summit for it. This is the daylight view of this uh, cone forming there. Making sense of all of this is the work of a geologist. And I can show you what has happened now. Because the, everywhere you see just lava explosions, you know, day and night. And everything going on like that. But no sense out of any of these things that you see. I'm going to show you now what is going on. This is a Mount Etna. This is the summit area of it. And we are seeing a cascading lava from a cone which is erupting. It's going down toward a cavity or a pit. And where is it? I will tell you now. Uh, we see this cone erupting, newly formed, in an area called Voragin. And in the Voragin area... Uh, which is a crater near the Boconova, we had this eruption happening. Boconova is a next door or adjacent uh, <laughs> uh, crater. And in Italy, when you look at the Mount Etna, it's huge. The summit area is what is we are interested in, but you can't get lost in all of that landscape without knowing what is everything. The summit area is, all, uh, is where all these things are happening. And the craters Bocanova and Voragin are the center of the activity for these few years that we are covering this for you. As you can see here, uh, Voragin is located there and Bocanova slightly to the southwest of it. And this is where the activity happened. Uh, Voragin again near the center, Bocanova to the uh, right left. The orientation in these satellite images is wrong. So if you want to make sense out of this, you don't make this is the correct orientation, and I've uh, done it for you. So this is where the cone formed, Voragin, in the Voragin cr crater, and the lava of it flew toward the Boconova. Boconova filled up with this uh, material, with this lava. Lava flow was there, and filled it up completely. Boconova doesn't exist anymore. It's flat. It's now covered by the lava. This is again showing that... Uh, Boconova completely covered with the lava and it will spill over in that direction. This is all that what you see in the summit area and I'm showing you the changing pattern of this activity all the time changed this highest summit in 19th uh, century, 18th century and 21st century. We had different shapes for this volcano and I've shown you some of this. It makes sense now what you understand what's going on.